my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. We are live at the Texas State Cemetery for the memorial service of Blake Redding, son of Texas Governor Dean Redding, who lost his life when he failed his thinning exam last week at Vista Point High School. Reports have since indicated that Blake Redding was not among the initial students to fail the exam, which has shrouded the governor's campaign for president in a flurry of controversy. Thank you. Governor, your thoughts on the Vista Point scandal? Not today. Attending the service is former Vista Point High School student, Lena Michaels, who has become a public figure since she was wrongfully accused of failing her exam and framed for committing acts of domestic terrorism. Lena, do you have any plans for taking legal action against the Board of Education for mishandling your test scores? I don't know. Do you hold Governor Redding personally responsible for implicating you as a domestic terrorist? No comment. I hate to be all business, but the DPC has appointed a special investigator for the Vista Point incident. It's Agent Joanne Morris. They didn't waste any time. Fortunately for you, Mason King has signed an affidavit absolving you of any connection to the event. For your request, he's been reassigned. Good. Where is he? I'll handle this myself. You just focus on what's important, getting elected. How close would you say you were to Blake Redding? I barely knew him. Talked to him a few times over the years, but that was it. Was he your boyfriend? You guys have a personal relationship? He was with Ellie until last year. Then he kept to himself. I barely knew him. Barely knew him. You don't have to tell me about some boy you had feelings for but we need to be honest with each other. Let's go over the timeline. An hour before the kiss, I have you on the internal server computer. I need to know what you saw. I was working fast. Everything I saw was posted on the news. I knew they switched my test. I was just trying to prove it. Anything regarding the school or sensitive material? I really wish I could help you. Here's my card. If you remember anything or need someone you can trust, I just want you to know you're not alone. <laughs> it's so funny. Joey's on TV. <laughs> Guys, cut it out. That's my cue. Take care of yourself, Lena. Guys, I need you two to focus. Okay. No interviews. Miss Michaels, it's Jack Prescott with Governor Redding's team. What does he want? He needs to see you. It's about Blake. Hi. Hi. You said something about Blake? I can't believe I'm walking these floors. <laughs> Two years ago, I put a picture of this place on my vision board. Now I'm here. Loving the new look, Wendy. Auburn? Rosewood. This is the bullpen. A lot of the junior staffers get thrown here, but since I took a chance getting the station to hire the first non-intern under 20, you get your own office. Now we're talking. This room used to be a closet, now it's yours. In real estate terms, they call this cozy with potential. There are still a lot of questions that need answers about what happened at Vista Point High. I get it. You want me to dig deep and uncover what's really going on at Vista Point High, right? Question authorities, make it clear that BNC News is going to ask hard questions and accept the blowback regardless of the consequences. No. Kellen, this is your first day. You're starting at the bottom. That's how this works. First up, a science piece. Parents want to know what chemicals are being administered to the students who go to the thinning. I'm going to send you out to do a prelim. Uh, two things. Number one, what's a prelim? Number two, when are you grabbing dinner? 
talk to people, find an angle, set up interviews, chase leads. You do that, we'll get dinner. It's a date. I'm married. Get to work. Miss Michaels, it's so nice to finally meet you. You went on TV and said I was a terrorist. Right to the chase. I love it. I was given misleading information from my people. I want to apologize. You didn't call me in here to apologize. I wanted to offer you an advisory role on our new thinning oversight committee. No, thanks. The thinning isn't perfect, but it's the law. And with this recent incident, there's been strong headwinds against it. People want to see the other side of the story. You want me to stump for you? It'd be a very generous paycheck for you and your siblings. I'll take care of you for quite some time. Thanks for the water. Hi, guys. Let's go. Lena. Georgina Preston. Oh, this must be your family. I hear you will be taking your first test this year. How exciting. Corinne has 11 more years of testing. I'd imagine it would be nice to have a little... support. Jack will take you home. Excuse me, you just passed our house. Where are you? Where are Corinne and Joey? They're safe. Everything is okay. See? <laughs> Miss Cole? Morning, Miss Cole! Maggie. Sorry for the scare. This is kind of a sensitive operation. Tell the governor I'm not working for him. Or not. With the governor. Or with the fight. We're hiding in plain sight at all levels of government to garner influence to end the thinning and transport out with students to safe houses. You can get people out? That's what we do. Mr. Leonard over there has personally escorted over 100 students across the border to secure island off the Gulf. Corinne and Joey, you have to get them out. That's why we need you to help the governor. No, I'm not going to be a mouthpiece for the thinning. If you won't help me get them out, then I'm going to do it myself. You know what happens when they catch a runaway? The kids get split up, they bounce around in state homes, they get a third rate education and a guaranteed trip to the thinning. We don't want that. With the right candidate in place, we can do a full repeal of the thinning and find a more humane way to combat our population crisis. But if Redding becomes president, the thinning will stay strong and continue to send innocent kids to die. And that could just be the tip of the iceberg. What does Georgina have to do with all this? We don't know. That's what we need you to find out. If she has her way, and Governor Redding becomes President Redding, we lose our window to stop the thinning. I mean, who knows what the future could hold? So, uh, you worked the day Blake's body was being prepared? Yes, I was on site. And did you handle the body? Not personally, no. It's three in the morning. I know. Um, weird question. Do you own a shovel? And out of all nine employees who worked that 72 hour period, not one person ever saw or handled the body. That's crazy. Nope. We're crazy. Hey. Oh. Hey. Are you good? Yeah. 
Careful. Wait. No. Yeah. Are we doing this? I can't believe we're doing all this for a guy that doesn't even know your name. Light. Yeah, sorry. Congratulations, your class has been spared. Every single one of you was chosen by our system and deemed worthy to receive a second chance at life. I realize you may have a couple of questions. Okay, let's begin. Our first most commonly asked question is, am I dead? No, <laughs> you're not dead. Question two, where am I? Well. You're in the Incubator, a special facility designed and sponsored by the great minds at Asuru Global. We are here to help you grow from a parasitic leech on our society to a productive member of the working class. I know what you're thinking. Why me? Using our patented algorithm, we analyze the test scores of this year's failing students and determine that you still have value and special skills that can be utilized to better America. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lot of words. To put it simply, you were chosen, silly. Last question, do I get to go back? The most productive members of the incubator program will be considered for reintroduction to society. Again, congratulations on being selected and getting to begin your new life. Be worthy. Please proceed to the assignment room. Heather Forrester, you have been assigned to Assembly. Please proceed to the door labeled Assembly. Today you will be observing only. Ned Walker, you have been assigned to Advanced Systems. Blake Redding, you have been assigned to Packaging. What happens if I say no? Please proceed to the door labeled Packaging. Today you will be observing only. As a member of the incubator, your day breaks down into three sections. Work, eat, and sleep. During work hours, each member will report to their assigned section for 14 hours of labor. Then, each member will be released to have one hour of dining and personal time. At curfew, each member must return to their domiciles for rest and recuperation. Please proceed to the factory floor for observation. Please proceed to the factory Ellie. floor for observation. Ellie! 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 
was seeing things. Where are we? They didn't tell you? We were chosen. I never thought I'd see you again. No. Not here. We have a curfew in an hour. that we're still alive. I thought it was all over. When they put that needle into my neck, I really thought that that was it. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, this place gives us a purpose. Like a second chance to help and do right. Why would they kill some kids and spare others? That doesn't make any sense. You don't really believe that, do you? Of course. We were chosen. And they believe that we have something to contribute. We can be worthy. If they lied to everyone before, why wouldn't they lie to us now? Refusal to work. Refusal to work. Refuses to work is sent to the infirmary, and within a few hours they come back with um, alterations. What a day! Yes, sir. Must be Neo. I'm Cage. Blake Redding. Governor's kid, right? That's cute. Probably used to getting whatever you want, like Ellie. No. Since you're new here, I want to take it easy on you. Ellie belongs to me now. You can do whatever you want. But if you look at her again, I'm going to kill you. Okay. Yeah. And what's the deal with those kids with the patches? Oh, that's the worthy. They're hand selected by the incubator to help supervise the other workers. They're like cops? Yeah, more like mall cops. They're first in line for reintroduction. Oh, it's pretty awesome all this shit's going. We're slaves, idiot. I'm not a slave. I'm nobody's slave. I'm Wade Freeman, bitch. You know what? Yeah, that's a really good point. You're Wade Freeman. Bitch. He's Wade Freeman, bitch. Not one of these 
<laughs> Go. Ellie, what is this? Just leave. I'm not going anywhere without you. They will kill you. Please go. Now, uh, this is Cage's girl, already. So you can move along now. We're just talking. Move along now. No. I'm not leaving without her. Separate. Ellie! Ellie! You going somewhere, Blake? No, not anymore. No, no. in an election that could be a turning point in American history. Texas Governor Dean Redding, backed by tech leader Asuru Global, is running on the strength and success of the national thinning program. Vermont Senator Elaine Davis has taken a strong anti-thinning platform that has brought her all the way to her party's nomination. She calls for a complete repeal of the thinning, which has proven very popular among young voters. Enough is enough. It's time to protect our kids from this inhumane and unconstitutional law. It's time to end the thinning. Even with a chance to reform, Lena Michaels continues her unwavering support for Governor Redding and the thinning. Being against the thinning is a dishonor to all the brave students who sacrificed their lives so we could be here today. The governor went on television and called you a domestic terrorist, a murderer, without any evidence. How can you support someone who would so viciously slander you? And what does that say about the governor's leadership? I credit a man who will correct his mistakes and own up to them. Governor Redding is that kind of man. But the investigation... It's been nearly a year, and nothing substantial against the governor has emerged. Why should people vote for Governor Redding next week? Governor Redding has sacrificed everything for us to move forward as a society. He will do whatever it takes to lead this country, and I proudly stand with him. And we're out. All right, let's reset for the next shot. Can I get an escort for talent offset? Thank you very much. I can't keep doing this. It's been eight months been giving you everything. Rifling through building files, photos of restricted areas. Now is the time to focus and do our jobs. What do you even do? I'm out there every day destroying my reputation for a few breadcrumbs. I'm putting my life on the line and it feels like I'm the only one. one. I'm sorry. This is eating away at me. If you stop now, it's over. I need to know Corinne and Joey are taken care of. I will see to it myself. We now believe that the files are on Georgina's private computer. If you can get access, we can get what we need and pull you. No one is allowed inside that office without Georgina present. We didn't say this was gonna be easy. 
Find a way in. If anyone can do it, you can. How am I going to gain access to your computer? They all have password locks or need special key card access. Jane's a digital safe cracker. This provides both the clearance and the file space needed to secure any and all files from Georgina's database. The election is next week. It's now or never, Lena. And also, we know about your friend. What friend? The one who's been at every meeting for the last eight months. He's listening in right now. Kellen, you can take off the glasses now. No habla inglés. My opponent doesn't want to invest in the future. He thinks things are going fine just the way they are, and I'm here to tell you they aren't. <coughs> Your state has more students with higher test scores than in the history of Vermont, and your entire campaign is about rolling back all that progress. That's a good point. But I refuse to... That's a good point? With... We're never going to hear that in the debate, Alan. Do you mind if I took a brief recess? Now, go ahead, Congressman. And please, take your time. Let's have Thomas flown in. The former energy secretary? Yeah, he won't let up on anybody. Thomas Houseman? That's no good. You need to get used to debating a woman. Yeah, I'll have Lindsay get you a list of names. I can do it. I'll debate you. Well, I appreciate the sentiment, Lena. But we're looking for someone a little more qualified. The thinning is a barbaric program that blames students for the failures of a broken education system. But it sure makes it easier to put the blame on students than having to look higher on the totem pole. Why not? Our teachers are the finest in the world. And if you're gonna blame them because a few students are unwilling to push themselves to realize their full potential, well, I won't stand for that. But you will stand for a program that preys on the most disadvantaged students in our society. Students who are less likely to pass because of their socioeconomic background. Whereas those born with a silver spoon in their mouths never truly have to worry about whether or not they get to see the next school year. I think we all know that my son had to worry. Blake was one of the kindest souls I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. And he failed the test on purpose, to protest this rig system. You tried to bail him out, but you got caught. And you threw him under the bus to advance your political career. Is there enough room for the American people under that bus? How was that? Uh, that was good. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. Asuru Global stocks are soaring this morning as the company announces its quarterly earnings report surpassing expectations of analysts and shareholders, respectively. Software and services growth are crucial, but it's the analysts hardware that... Analysts are saying that's a 36% jump in <laughs> R&D spending. That's what it takes to have stakes in this Asuru game. Asuru Global ensures made in America quality.
You know the rules. Only the worthy and residents of this sector are allowed in this area. about you. Oh! Cage! He's waiting for you to slip. Force you in there with him. Why hasn't anyone kicked his ass yet? I don't know, bro. Don't look like a bitch to me. He's not worthy! He's not worthy! Shit! But you're not worthy! You're nothing! Worthy! 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 Isn't anybody gonna help him? Not till after the fight. Hey! This kid needs serious medical attention now. Are you really gonna make me take him? Let's see it! Come on, let's go. Who's next on the list? If you win, you leave. Who's got it, baby? Who's going next? Sooner or later, Reddy. You'll be in here. Sooner or later. about Nate. Eight. eight. How about this? Nine. This thing just won't heal. Blake, what are they doing to you? I fell in the shower again. What's the deal with her? She refused to work. There is no reintroduction. Is there? Do you know that we're all here against our will? The law is the law. But they tell everyone that we're dead? I can't be having this conversation. Help me. Get out of here, Doc. Please. I'll 
see you in a few weeks. Let's go, Blake. On the way to living quarters, King. recently yeah but she's always with cage so not for long i need you to get a message to her for me you spend so much time caring for her i think it's time that you let somebody take care of you tell ellie to come to the cage match tomorrow it's important This isn't gonna take more than five minutes, is it? I'll talk fast. Shoot. Okay, so I was looking into the Vista Point story. Oh my God, Kellen, you have a new angle on this story every week. This one's different. Five minutes. You have one minute. I practiced it for five. Okay, I'll talk very fast. The machines the T2401 tests were formed on are made by Asuru Global, but we you already, already knew, knew that. that. Right, exactly. And Asuru Global has been touting their massive increase in production, which I thought I had figured out when I bum-rushed Regina Preston at her office. You did what? Where are you headed, Georgina? Shareholders meeting. We're talking about how Azuru has tripled its production and it's on its way to having a record-shattering year. How could you have increased production? You laid off half your workforce. <laughs> Obviously, our young friend hasn't heard of automation. Excuse me. <laughs> I know, it was premature, I know. But that gave me everything. Automation. If they're making more tablets than ever, then they're using a lot more machines to make them, right? So I dug up their expenditures. How did you get those? I have a friend who hacks. Not important. But I found that they're paying for machines that they're not actually receiving. So I took a tour of the new campus, which is really nice. Asuru Global is the industry leader in cutting edge consumer electronics. And you should really see their manufacturing room. Really, you should. Because I didn't, because they don't have one. I walked the entire campus with a pedometer, and if you were to fill the entire thing with machines, even in the places I walked, which had none, you wouldn't be able to get to half of the output that they're shipping. So they're outsourcing. Right, I thought the same thing, but according to their expenditures, they're also regularly insourcing 100 million pounds of food per year from a company called TX Pack. Military rations. Let me just make sure I got this right. TX Pack is the sole distributor of MREs for the entire US military. One of three, actually. We're very proud to be one of three major suppliers for heat and served meal packages. The average human eats three pounds of food per day. They have enough food to feed 100,000 people per year. And that's just what I found so far. What are you saying? I think they're using failed students to make tablets and phones and whatever, and I think it's all connected to Vista Point. How? Have you ever looked at the blueprints for the original build? Of course not. I just did. Massive vents, by the way, it could fit a human in there. They also have special designated areas for freight elevators. And these elevators only go from the first floor down, 15 stories, and, and they go to nothing, nothing that's on the plans. So I say we call the cops. Hi, Brad. Now's a good time. Oh my God. What you have is circumstantial. It's a conspiracy theory. No photos, no videos, no proof, no story. So you want me to get video? Yes, we are working on confirming that interview. Of an illegal underground slave operation run by the biggest corporation in the world, which also happens to be the single largest donor to Governor Reading's campaign for president. Can you get a truck ready for me? Super. Shut the door on your way out. I'm only 18. It's my first job out of high school, but he got a boss. Wish I got thinned. I don't mean that. Maybe I do. Yeah.
much time. I can't keep doing this. You have to. You're so close. Don't give up now. What's up? I got some brews. Paid a homeless dude 50 bucks for this. Helen, it's two in the morning. It's, it's two in the morning? Well, that means it's time to party! Woo! Let's cruise into some shots. So, you know, I was hanging out at my place alone, and I was thinking, do you know who I want to hang out with? My best friend, Lena. Helen! Now, full disclosure, I drank some of them, so you have some catching up to do. Helen, what the hell? They're sleeping. Yeah, what the hell is right? Hey, we gotta get some tunes in here. It's too quiet. Oh! Helen, stop. Blake? I don't know how to tell you this. What? Did something happen? Blake, he... he doesn't want to see you anymore. I didn't hear... Ellie, you should just move on. I know that this is a terrible thing to say, but you have to live your life without Blake Redding. I'm sorry. Okay. It's done. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. So, you're gonna put in a good word for me, right? Absolutely. I'm very close with Mason. He takes my recommendations for a reintroduction seriously. believes in a strong and prosperous nation, creating unlimited possibilities for its best and brightest citizens. While Elaine Davis wants to live in a country of poor, uneducated losers and sink America's ranking to the bottom of global competition. If you want to continue winning, vote Dean Redding. I'm Dean Redding and I approve this message. Hey guys, everything's going to be okay. Just be good to Miss Cole. Okay. I love you both so much. I love you too. Mm. Are you ready? Hey guys. My breakfast ready for you. Hurry before it's cold. So this is our last chance at this, right? You're going to be fine. I'll be unreachable for a little bit while we get them to safety. Once you get the information, all you have to do is get it to Jack, and you're home free. And no matter what happens, Corinne and Joey are going to be safe. I'll be seeing you. OK, 
Okay, you can eat those on the way. Let's go. Just down here a little bit. This way, guys. Come on. This way here. Everything's gonna be okay. I've got a good feeling. Why are you doing this? My map is telling me this is a faster route. No, I mean, why are you helping? My little sister, Kelly. Uh, she was dyslexic. Everything took a little more time. And every day after school, I would stay and help her to make sure she didn't fall behind. Senior year came around and, you know, I got too wrapped up in a partying and overconfident with the idea that she would be fine. And I started to let things slip. She was taken from me. And not a day goes by that I don't wish I had done more. That's why I'm here. Well, if this works, no one will ever have to go through something like that again. It's going to be an exciting race for sure. It's really, really difficult to know who's going to come out on top here, so we're interested to see how the day will play out. This is a secure facility. I'll have to escort you. This way. Miss? The bathroom? Someone get Olympia up here. Now this is entertainment.
You're gonna stay down. If you go down, I lead the worthy. I never go down. You are in direct violation of Section 6 work order. Proceed to your workstation now. <laughs> Everything you've been told about this place is a lie. There were no killed students. They did it for cheap labor to help Asuru make products. So... There's no reintroduction? No. Now that alarm was for Ellie. And I can get to her. But I'm gonna need all of your help to get her out. No one's ever gotten out before. And this is gonna end quickly. But I have to try. What do you need us to do? We just received audio of presidential candidate Elaine Davis 
having a sordid conversation with a staffer. We have to warn you, there is some crude language within the tape. Oh, come the f on, Meredith. Voters have their head up their f ass. They shouldn't even have the right to vote, because what they do, they just f this country up. <laughs> Everyone between California and New York are dumb f with f for brains. It's not even an exaggeration. It's f true. <laughs> This is a game changer. I mean, this could cost her Iowa. Is this getting played everywhere? <laughs> everywhere. Oh. Whoever leaked this, I love you. You okay in there? Miss Michaels? Oh my God. I left something in my office. Excuse me, Miss Preston. The governor would like to see you right away. Give me a minute. No. He said it's urgent. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. What? Beg your pardon? You told Jack you needed me for something urgent. No, no, I didn't. Everything okay? Do you, I, you didn't respond. I had to use the bathroom. Lena. What happened to you? Laundry day. Laundry. I've never done my own laundry. <laughs> Is the shuttle on time? It leaves out of Matamoros at six. We'll make it if we go now. I'll lead the way. Lena Michaels, I need to see you right away.
Welcome to the infirmary. Let's go. Watch where you're going, Freeman. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not your bro. Yeah, that's right. She's my bitch. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch! Seal all exits. Code 695. All DPC guards report to the mess hall. Code 695. Hey, I got an injured student here in the East Corridor. <laughs> <laughs> You know what to do. Sorry for all the theatrics. I don't know who might be after you. Blake Redding is alive. What? I saw him. Asuru Global has a remote complex where failed students are being put to work in some kind of labor camps. Who else knows about this? Here, my first call. Is your theory backed up by evidence? Here. It's all here. We're gonna have to hide you. They might be onto you already. I need your phone, keys, wallet, anything they might have bugged you with. More importantly, your family. Where are your siblings? They're with a friend. You don't have friends anymore. Who's this friend? Maggie Cold, her teacher. She's taking them out of the country. How? I don't know, there's some kind of tunnel system to the border. Okay. They're safe. We can work with that. Do you have any other devices on you? That's it. Good. Turn around. What? Walk to the edge. Wait. That sign says El Toro. We're going the wrong way. John. They found my kids. way harder for a coroner to explain bullets in your back from an unmarked weapon than an overworked employee cracking under pressure and taking the plunge. But I'll leave it up to you. for this.
What are you doing? It was all a lie. Who, who put you up to this? Who put you up to this? <laughs> Stolen and you did nothing? Where's the girl? Has anyone found the girl? Oh, I'll handle this myself. Is this a bad time? You have a high tech program that can extract data from damaged drives, right? For water damage? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's 2040. It's the best we've got. You don't have something more cutting edge? Oh, wait, I got it. One sec. This is the latest in fan technology. Clearly. So you been good? Okay. Here goes nothing. It worked. I, uh, I, I gotta make a copy of this. This is way too big to have on one water log drive. Thank you, Kellen. You're literally the only person I can trust anymore. Well, until Blake comes back. Kellen, I... No, it's, it's cool. We're good. I've, uh, moved on. Actually, I'm really into this one coworker of mine. It's getting pretty serious. She's a little more into me than I'm into her, but I'm warming to her. Isn't Wendy married? Oh, she is. But we can trust her. And once she sees what you've got, she won't be able to ignore this anymore. Or me. All right, we're all set. Perfect, I'll bring it to Wendy. Whoa, no, no way. They're looking for you. Just stay here. And lay low. I'll do this to Wendy and she'll get it live. You're, uh, you're gonna be okay. Thank you. Oh, and whatever you do, don't look through my browser history. No, I need you to promise me you won't look through my browser history. Do you know what? I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna delete it quickly. Can you close your eyes? Are you serious? Please. Okay. See you soon.
Where are we going? Home. Go for it. Okay. Did she say where they were going? Georgina, what's going on? The drive is all that matters. The girls have no further use. Thank you, Joanne. Who was that? None of your concern, huh? Sir. Sir, that was Ohio. You're over 270. What? May I be the first to congratulate you, Mr. President? We did it. Yes. We did it. 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 We did it, everybody. We did it. Outstanding. Medical staff, which way did they go? Uh, Southwest Corridor. Car bombing victim? Wendy. Oh my god. We just received word that Senator Elaine Davis did call Governor Redding to concede the election. Which means that we are only moments away from hearing the president-elect's acceptance speech. This is amazing. What a historic night indeed. Where's Lena? She's coming.
Can I help you? I need to see Wendy Banks, please. Do you have an appointment or... You know what, I'll just go get her. have tracking devices on all of the failed students. Do you know where this is? The coordinates, right there. Kellen was right. We have to get this out tonight. Marvin, I need two vans and a chopper. They're all booked out, it's election night. Forget election night, I need a chopper, now! <laughs> Nothing for miles. Which way are we going? To hell! right about now. <laughs> uh, so I implemented a few last minute changes to your acceptance speech. Here you go. Changes? Uh, yeah, Regina's team requested that we omit your son from the speech. Uh, I'm sorry, she found it too macabre. Excuse me. Yeah, Carl. Carl, what's up? We're about to go on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow, slow down. What? I'll call you back. Lake? We're gonna go live to a helicopter in the Texas desert, and you will see Blake Redding is there what is with it? Ellie Harper. I, I don't know. What? This isn't very funny. What, what is down, this? Sir. Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on! Of the entire thinning program. Dean. Dean, it's time to make your speech. Just go out there and smile for the cameras. You're on, Mr. President. Okay, check the fire escape. We'll be up there in two to three minutes. Got it? From this moment, united, determined, we move forward together. I've worked in PR my entire professional life. There's no way we can spin this. We don't have to. Look, I don't mean to be a downer here, but all of this is extremely illegal. Not anymore. Advanced systems, give me the list of everyone who has ever opposed the thinning. We can't break the law because now we are the law.
Freddy. Elena Michaels, Ellie Harper, they're all under arrest. Where are they taking us? This doesn't add up. So we already had access to everyone's locations, cameras, keystrokes. They had to go through the courts to spy on a civilian. Will it take the wrong person in power to end freedom as we know it? We have to stop them. I don't think we can do that. <laughs>
будем играть в игру и прям так сейчас. И посмотри, что это. Это не похоже. Ничего страшного, мы продолжаем нашу битву сейчас. Нападаем. И у них тоже мы. И у них такие же рыцари. Для этого монстра мы нападаем сейчас. У нас армия сильная. Спектакль окончен. Так, начинаем битву. Стрелы. Давай той же магии будем использовать, которую изучили. Давай. Сначала мы используем силу света или о, живой огонь. Что лучше будет? Вот это. Силу света. Теперь мы берем огненный шар и стреляем по ним. Все. Мы можем сделать. Почему у нас эти оказались, а не стреляющие камнями? Что? Которые камнями стреляют, мы не взяли. Блин. Это плохо. Надо взять камнемет. Камнеметов. Что, их оживили, что ли? Огненный картошка. У нас есть огненная картошка? Давай не перебьют. 
Давай. Я отрываю вот этих. Они их уже не вернут. Не смогут их вернуть. Сейчас больше. Ну и у нас есть роботы, а у них нету. А у них простые стрелки. Но, но когда мы уже два стрелка дойдем? Их уже мало. Они не могут причинить сильного вреда. Угу. Сейчас мы ему покажем, где зиму убирать. Покажем класс. Да. Давай потратим этих тоже. Вот этих. Сегодня больше нет. Мы можем даже за одну минуту перебить. Пока. Мы быстро перебьем зимние. У нас роботы, они простые стоят. Конечно, робот мы не все быстро перебьем. Ну, родители, ты заплатили. Эй! Пластые стрелки. Внимание, ему не поможет. Тяни. Ну давай этого убьем уже. Он нам не нужен картошку. Давай. Готов. Не га. Готов. Готов, конфетка. Ты не заходил это использовать? Что? Ну это использую всегда. Отличный. Огненный mm -hmm. Все, победа. Он же... Мы не победили. Сейчас у нас мощная армия. И чем раньше был. Поменяем вот эти. 
Это кто-то делал, не знаю. Даже таких не было. А, наверное, они корни на этих прибавили. Присоединились, наверное, к нам. Да. Они хорошие такие. Смотрите, тумочка в обратно. Здесь у нас есть. Бочка с золотом. Бочка. С золотом. С золотом. Бочка. Там еще. Золото. И мой дед опять попал. Здесь только пугалов. Много пугалов. Пугалы это обычные такие штуки с пугалов. Можно их пуки назвать, а не пугалы. Пуки. Ну все, дорогие друзья, на этом спасибо за внимание. Наша игра закончена. Мы будем завтра продолжать игру. Сейчас нажимаем. Пока.